Next day, the trumpets rang early in the camp. Soon, a single runner was seen hurrying along the narrow pass. At a distance, he stood and hailed them, asking whether his horn would now listen to another embassy, since new tidings had come to hand and matters were changed. That will be Dane," said Thorned when he heard. "There will be have got wind of his coming. I thought that would after um there would, um bid them come few numbers in numbers and weaponless, and I will hear," he called to the messenger. About midday, the matters of the forest and the lake were seen to be born a uh, force again. A company of twelve was approaching at the beginning of the new narrow way. They laid aside sword and spear and came on towards the gate. Wandering, the dwarves saw that among them were both bard and elven king. Before food, an old man wood, wrapped in cloak hood bore a strong casket of iron-bound wood. My mind does not change with the rising settings of a few suns, um, answered Thorn. Did you come to ask me idle questions? Still, the elf host has not departed as I bade. Till then, I will, you came in vain to bargain with me. Is there none, nothing would, for which you would yield of any of your gold? Nothing that would you or your friends would have offered? Out of the Argent Stone of Thrain, said he. And at the um, some moment, the old man came up in the casket and held a flood of jewel. The light left from his hands, bright and white in the morning. Then Thrawn was stricken dumb with amazement and confusion. No one spoke for this a while. Look, Thrawn's legs broke in silence, and his voice was thick as his wrath. That stone was my father's and his mind, he said. Why should I purchase my own? But wonder overcame him, and he added, But how came you by the hair on of my host? And if there is need, I'll to ask such a question of the thieves. We're not thieves, Abbott answered. Your own will be. We will give back in return for your own. How came you by it? Shouted, Bill, shouted Thorin in a guest gathering rage. I gave it to them. Bilbo was peering over the wall, but now in a dead full fright. You, you, cried Thorin, turning upon him and grabbing, grabbing, grasping him with both hands. You miserable hobbit, you understand, barter sized burglar. He shouted at a loss for words, and he shook Bil poor Bilbo like rabbit. By the beard of Durin, I wish I have Gandalf here. Curse him for a choice of you. May his beard wither. Um... As for you, I will throw you to the rocks, he cried and lifted Bilbo in his arms. Say, will you sh your wish is granted, said a voice. The old man with the crowskit threw aside his hood and cloak. Here is Gandalf, and none too soon it seems. If you don don't like my burglar, please don't damage him. Put him down and listen first to what he has to say. You old seaman league, said Thorne, dropping Bilbo on the top of the wall. Never again I will have dealings with any wizards of his friends. What have you say to your descending of rats? Dear me, dear me, said Bilbo. I am sure this is all very comfortable. Uncomfortable, you may remember saying that I might choose my own very own forced teen chair. Perhaps I took it too literally. I have all been told that dwarves are perhaps po politer in words than in deed. The time was all the same when you seemed to think that I had been some sort of been of service, so some service, descendant of rats, indeed. Is this all the service of you and your family? That I was promised to and take it that I have disposed of my share and as I wished, and let it go at that. I, I will, said Thorin, Thorin grimly, and I will let you go at the at that, and may we never meet again. Then he turned and spoke over the wall. I am betrayed, he said. It was rightly guessed that I could not forbear the re forbear the redeem of the Arkenstone, the treasure that um I could not forbear to redeem the Arkenstone, the treasure of my house. For it, I will give one fourteenth share of the hoard in silver and gold, setting aside the gems. But that shall be acquainted to the promised share of his trader, and with that reward he shall depart. And you cannot, you can divide it as well as you will. He will get little enough, I doubt not. Take him if you wish, um, if you wish to live, and no friendship of mine goes with him. Get down now to your friends, he said to Bilbo, or I will throw you down. What about the gold and silver? Asked Bilbo. That shall follow after, as you ca as it can be arranged, said he. Get down. Until then, we keep the stone, cried Bard. You are not making a splendid figure as king on the mountain, said Gandalf. But it's, things may change, yet. Things may indeed, said Thorn. And already so strong and was, build, was the buildment of the treasure upon him. He was pondering whether, by the help of Dane, Dane he might not, um, 
recapture um recaptured Arkenstone and was sold the share of the reward. And so Bilbo swung down from the wall and departed with nothing for all his trouble, except the armor which um Thorin had given him already. With more than one of the dwarves in his, their hearts felt shame and pity as the, as he's going. Pharaoh, he cried to them, We may never meet again as friends. Be off, called Thorin. Thorin. You may you have mail upon us which cannot we was made by a fork, my fork and it is is not too good for you I cannot be pierced by arrows but if you do not hasten I will sting your miserable feet so be swift not so hasty said Bob we will give you until tomorrow at noon we will return and see if you have brought from a horde of portion that is to be to be set against the storm. <laughs> If that is not done without the seat, then we will depart, and then Elf Host will go back to the forest, and meanwhile, farewell. Which, with that, they went back to the camp, but Thorin sent messengers by Rorek, telling Dane that w- what have happened, and bidding him to come with very weary speed. Then the day passed the, the night. The next day, the wind shifted west, and the air was dark and gloomy. The morning shifted west. Um, the morning was still early when a cry was heard at the camp. Runners came in to report on the horse of the dwarves. Um, most of the dwarves had appeared around the eastern, um, eastern spur of the mountains and was now hastening to Dale. Dane has come. He had hurried on through the night, and so he had come upon um the sooner than they had expected. Each one of his folks was clad in a hornback of steel mail that um each one of his folk was clad in a hornback steel of, of steel mail that hung his knees and his legs were covered with mail, whose um of a fine and flexible metal mesh. The secret of whose making was possessed by Dane's people. The dwarves are exceedingly dwarfish, um, dwarves, and um, in the battle they weighed heavily to hand Mactox, but each of them had also a short broad sword at his side, and a round shield slung against at his back. Their be- beards were forked and paint- plated and thrust into their belts. The caps were of iron, and um, they were strawed in- with iron, and their friends were grim. Trumpets called men and elves to arms. Before long, they had a halt between the river and the eastern spur, but a few held on their way. And crossing the rivers, drew near the camp, and there they lay down their weapons and held up their hands in sign of peace. Bard went out to meet them, and with him for Bil- went Bilbo. We are sent from Dane, son of Nain, they they said, and when he que- when questioned, we are hasting our king kingsmen in the mountain, and we since we learn that the kingdom of old is renewed, but few are you that sit in the plans of foes before defended walls. This, of course, in the polite and rather short fashionate language of such com- occasions, meant simply, you have no business here. We are going on, so make way, or we shall fight. You, they meant to push on between the mountains and the loop of the river. Um, for the narrow land, they there did not seem to be strongly guarded. But of course, refused to allow the guards to go straight onto the mountain. He was determined to wait until the golden silver had not been brought to, uh, in an exchange for the Alkinstone. For he did not believe that this would be done if once of the forest was manned, manned um, with so large and warlike company. Um, they had brought with them a great stone of supplies, for the dwarves can carry very heavy burdens, and nearly all of Dane's folk, um, in spite of all their rapid march, bore huge packs of their barks, and addition to their weapons, they would stand a siege for weeks, and by the time, um, yet more dwarves might come, and yet more, um, for Thorin, um, Thorin had many relatives. Um, also, they would have be able to reopen and guard some other gate, so that the besides would have the encircle the whole mountain. And for that, they had not sufficient numbers. They were, in fact, precisely their plan. For the raven messengers had been busy between Thorin and Dane, but for a moment the way was barred. So, after angry words, the dwarf messengers retired, muttering to their bears. Uh, Bard um, then sent messengers at once to the gate, um, but they found. No gold um or payment. Now came forth as soon as they were um within shot and and they hastened back in dismay. In the camp, uh, all was not astir, as if for a battle for the dwarves of Dane were advancing along the eastern band. Fools, lad, bath, and to come thus beneath our mountain's arm. They did not understand war above the ground, whether they did may know the, of battle in their minds. There are many of our archers and spearsmen now hidden in the rocks upon the right flanks. 
Dwarf mail may be good, but they will soon be hard to put to it. Let us set on them now for both sides before they are fully rested. But eleven, eleven elven kings um said, Long will I tarry. Ere um, big, I begin this war for gold. Dwarves will not pass off unless we will or do anything that we cannot mark. Let us hope still for.